What is going on everybody? Your old pal Jimo back again with another exciting painting video where we will be uh, we're painting the door on this Honda Civic going into the fender and quarter blending out our color and um, we've got a special guest painter today Chris you can find him on Instagram at painter.cp if you want to find some of his work but you've likely already seen some of his work because I've actually worked side by side with him for several years and actually apprenticed under him so I learned uh, a lot of things off him over the years, so we'll see what uh, his spray technique looks like. You'll find it's probably a little bit more robotic than mine, just because he's been doing it for so long. Um, one thing that uh, I just want to talk about that I guess I would, you'd say I learned off of Chris, which is probably the most important thing, was how he kept his guns. And when I first started off in this trade, I used to neglect my guns to some extent, and they weren't spraying like brand new but what he would do time and time again was break down his gun after every job and they would look like they were fresh out of the box and it took me a while to actually appreciate uh, how far that goes in this trade so uh, I, I know it sounds silly because painting and, and you know you only have this one thing to do is just wash your bloody paint gun after which seems like common sense but uh, for a lot of guys starting out it isn't that straightforward. So uh, if you take anything away today, that should be it. So I'm gonna let him throw on this first coat of paint and we'll check back in when we are ready for clear. So we are ready for clear here. As you can see, we've got the Iwata WS400 back out, which should look familiar. It's the clear gun that I tend to roll with. I put it in the hands of Chris one day and he had to have one. Um, it's a fantastic gun, no denying. Pretty well everybody I show it to just falls in love with it. Uh, the SATA 5000 RP, which is probably the other gun that most people are, it's usually I find most painters I encounter are either in love with the SATA 5000 or the Iwata WS. Um, people don't tend to be as obsessed with the base coat gun, the Iwata, the, the LS400. Personally, I've always preferred the SATA 5000 for base coat, but either way, they're both they're killer guns, so I, I mean, I wouldn't complain if I had either in my hand. So you can see one way in which we differ with the clear coat application is uh, I walk the length of the car back and forth but that's because I eat a lot of lunches and I have a lot of 
calories to burn off. So uh, he does it a different way, um, which I don't think you're going to have. I'd say this is actually probably the more common way. If I'm out in the field watching people spray, this is usually how they're doing it. They're going one section at a time and moving over. Um, really, I think it's just a personal preference. I don't think it impacts the job uh, one way or another. Unless you're applying base coat and you're working with candies where that sort of consistency is detrimental to the look of the job, with the clear coat here, it's not going to make that big of a difference. So, um, We've got the first coat on here, so I guess he's got to do that handle yet on the back, and then a second one, and then we'll check back and see what we've got. Now, after two coats of clear, this is what we are left with. Um, it's blue and it's shiny, which is exactly what we were going for. So I think everybody's going to be happy once that's together. Now, let's move on to something else here because uh, this just came out today, so I'm, I'm excited about it. Uh, I've been writing for a magazine called Body Works Magazine. I've been telling you guys about this for a while because I have a few articles already. But this edition that just came out has some cool articles and some things that I encounter out at different shops, problems that guys run into, and ways that you can avoid them. It's full of all kinds of great tech tips. It's geared to all the people working in the back, the painters, and the body tech. So there's some great information. I'll make sure I have a link in the description so you can check that out. And make sure you guys subscribe here so you know 
when the next amazing paint video comes out. Uh, other than that, make sure again, check us out on, re on uh, Instagram at Refinish Network. You can keep up to date with all of my movement. And again, the painter today, Chris, you can find him at painter.cp on Instagram. So thanks again, everyone, for watching, and we shall see you next time.